Guess I gotta wait for my stream to load real quick. That looks better on my end, but let me know what you see. I'm also, I don't know if you hear it, it's more better. That's good. Um, I also made changes to my audio, so let me know if things were wonky. Um, there's still some hardware components I want to change, but I've been using, I set up that an NVIDIA uh, RTX voice, and so far it seems pretty sweet. So I will pass this. Okay, so if this happens, oh, that's not indented properly because it told me it wasn't. So we'll say to do logging. We're fine with Prince as is, but for now, logging. High frequencies are sharp. How often do you hear that? Do I have a windsock thing? Mm -mm. I don't have a pop filter, nothing like that. Oh, those are annoying. That might be able to be better just by being a little bit further away from my face. Um, I also increased my gains. I increased the gain on my mic through, it could actually be this. Have it above your nose if you can. It's so in my way if I do that. Does this sound better by chance? Eh. I don't think this would be able to go. Eh, it might. Sorry, you're gonna hear all that noise. Can't hear any movement noises? That's surprising. Is that better? I don't know. I've also got a noise gate, so it could potentially cut it off a little bit more. That's out of my hand movement, though. I like that. But it's very apparently right up here in my, my peripheral. Let me know though if that's better on the S's and W's. Wow. Wow. W's are better. Let's see real quick. Sock thing equal dead cat. I have a pop filter somewhere, but it kept getting annoying because it's not real tight or anything like that. I'm I was doing some research today. I'm gonna move this a little bit. I was doing some research today uh, about microphones and stuff like that, and I I think I want to change what mic I've got. Um, right now I've got the Audio Technica 2020, uh, which is a condenser mic, so it picks up all the the grainy stuff. I think I want to switch to a dynamic mic. Um, there's one I'm looking at, but obviously I'm going for the stuff that's expensive. Um, but it looks real cool. A lot of people use it, and it has an audio feel that I really enjoy. Um, this thing I like. Yeah, I do have XLR version. I really like this microphone, but I'm starting to realize card or not card uh, condenser mics. They are great, but I'm starting to lose some of that. Uh, control over my environment um, like Savannah will come in here and watch TV and stuff like that which I, I want her to be in here I want to hang out uh, I don't want to be secluded in my office because that's not fun for me um, but the car the condenser mic picks up all that um, most of the time it's not a big deal but we were talking a little bit more last night about if she wanted to stream and stuff like that and I think I'm I'm talking into reality more than she's wanting it to be a reality um, yeah, 
boyfriend girlfriend stuff whatever but if she does that this mic won't work with her sitting just literally right over there you can see the 3d printer uh right there the desk is that she'd be sitting at is right there as well um so it's it wouldn't work if we got into that setup but she's also been again i'm talking in reality more than she's wanting to um but she i talked to her about voice acting stuff because she also she does a lot of voices and a lot of characters and it's entertaining for me so i can only imagine it would be entertaining for others as well um, plus it's a great opportunity to potentially be hey work from home um if she wanted to do that then uh this condenser mic would be good for her still i moved my mic behind my cam and jeremy said it sounded the best of everyone he meets with i yeah i want to i wish i could have it out of my way but it, there's just so much especially with this condenser mic you have a uh uh blue yeti right I think you have a Blue Yeti, which would also be condenser mic. I, knowing what I know now, I didn't need to move away from the Blue Yeti. Um, I did like it. It was way too heavy though. But the thing I don't like is all the mic pickup, which for me and Zoom and stuff like that, they do enough noise suppression where that's not really a big deal. And you're far enough away that you're not picking up all the keyboard sounds. Um, but with me trying to Twitch stream and mic always on and trying to remove as much of that noise suppression as possible, I feel like the only way I can pull that off is if my mic is close, I have my gain turned down real low, but then it's picking up on my keyboard sounds too. So that's why I'm really liking this RTX voice. If this sounds better with this being up above me, actually I'm gonna go a little bit further away. How does that sound? Is that quiet, loud, good, bad? quiet which I could I could potentially increase the the gain and stuff like that as well I'm definitely a huge fan of oh yeah I would definitely probably have to turn down the music a little bit it's pretty loud right now um, I can turn it down on stream I like my music loud when I'm coding but I guess I can turn it down on stream to be a little bit lower one of these days I'll perfect it, but I'm thinking I want to go with a uh, dynamic mic. Um, we talked about it a little bit in Discord, but the, where is it? Nope, that's not it. Nope, not orders. I want to go to my wish lists. Dang, Amazon has too many options. Um, right in the middle of my monitor? I will in just a second. So I, uh, I've been looking at this microphone and then uh, getting this, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it. It says mic activator. I don't know if it's a preamp or, or what exactly it is, um, but I've listened to a lot of videos on it today. Um, I think I could do with a less expensive mic, but that setup of a dynamic mic with this cloud lifter, the audio that I hear is great. Um, a lot of that I, I was looking for was specifically live as well, not uh, not recorded and then post processing. But we'll have to keep going back okay. Um, do 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 do. I've lost my windows now. There's too many. I have all this screen real estate, but I still don't have good window management. I need i3 on windows. 
Okay. Ah! I fucked it up again. Snap, how do I have my mic? Let me see how you have your mic. Oh, nope. That's not the one I wanted to look at. That's an actual work conversation that I'm avoiding doing until later today. Is it sitting on your monitors? Do you notice a lot of vibrations and stuff like that? I mean, I don't know how much you monitor the actual sound levels and stuff like that. There are window managers for uh, windows to make it more ice like I just haven't done it. So I can't, I can't make it reach my main monitor, but I can make it completely block out my second monitor. I'd be talking right at it like I'm this my it's literally right below my fingers. I'd be talking right at it. Um, but yeah, it completely obstructs my view. Could I I can put it on top. I believe the echo I have it on top similar to yours. My arm where it's at right now wouldn't be good. I also have a lot of echo in the room. Um, but that's why I'm kind of hoping dynamic mic. I would have to be more here, but I wouldn't get a lot of echo coming in. I think it would be pretty good. I won't dye my hair electric blue, but I can do the electric boogaloo. But I won't. But I can. But I won't. So far, based off of what you guys have said, it sounds like this might be the best spot. And I also love that it's not obstructing my view or in my download. It did sound good. That's where I was originally. And I was here. This sounds good. The only bad thing is I bump my arm. Not often, but I can. That, that has the shot. Where did I have it that made you say that it sounds good? Everything else sounds good. Maybe, maybe I just need a pop filter. Like, I'm obviously obstructing audio going to the mic a little bit, but does that sound good with the p being blocked? And is it bad or just noticeable? I'm trying my S's here. I start with the S and I end with the S. I'm not, my hands, I'm not blocking anything right now with my S's. Seems sharp, but not terrible. This is me blocking my S's. Start to finish. Blocking it sounds good. Maybe I just need that pop, pop filter then. I don't think it will. Hold on. Let me see. I'm not sure if it will. Whoa, what the heck? I'm not sure if it will uh, fit this stand. Let me go check, let me go get it.
Never mind. I don't know. I don't remember where I put it, and I don't want to spend a ton of time looking for it. Um, if I can think of where it is real quickly, I'll grab it, but for now, I just won't worry about it. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. Not even I. Okay. I don't like this being this low. How about here? It's further away from me. I'm still talking at my monitor this way, but it's more this way. Um, let me know. I'm going to keep coding though. Okay, so I can... In my brain. Sounds good? Alright, I'll take it. I... I look like I'm probably pretty quiet, but that gives me a chance to yell real loud. Okay, so I want to copy over my save, maybe slightly echoey, but it's it's got better. Got better S's. That spot's the best so far. I'll take that. And I'm not, I don't need perfect. Sure, it'd be nice, but. As long as I am, oh yeah, you're right. I do have that off. Good, you didn't get to see the face that I made when I said I'm gonna yell. So, JSON dump, how do I wanna handle this? JSON decoder error. So we've got that. So we can strip out this. We can strip out our save. And what I want to do is find hashtag. So def. So if I get a hashtag in, I want it to grab the specific key from the JSON dictionary and present that to you. So that way I can overwrite it out of class. Okay. But I want to, how do I want to do that? I don't want to call set hashtag, I don't think. So I could do hashtag is property. Can I do that? I can't do that. How can I do I want to call it like this, um, hashtag, I want to be able to do it that way and also be able to do hashtag Valorant LFG equals value. So I could just do this as a property, which just returns return self brain JSON and I could do a setter what is that whoa why did that what the heck? Everything just minimized. Why? What? <laughs> I don't know what you guys see right now. But it, everything minimized itself, and I don't like that. Okay, VS Code. Yep. 
stupid windows. I thought I should have been able to shake the window and it would undo it, but I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, so Python setter. I don't want Python reference, I want the Python docs. Okay, docs. Okay, this still is not what I want. Ooh, built in functions. Setter. Python setter decorator. I forget what. It's it's part of something. I don't remember what it is. I see. Okay. I guess I found it. Okay. Empty desktop is what you saw. Can I do? I want always on top. That's another thing that Windows sucks on. I want to be able to set this to always on top. Something to do next time. So, hashtag setter. attention enough to remember. Sounds right. Okay, I don't think this is what I want. Okay, so I might, okay, I'm gonna change this. And we're going to do def get adder. So adder. And we're gonna do print. Get attribute. 
Oops, gotta reload. Also didn't turn purple, so that makes me think maybe I typed it all wrong to begin with. That's failed. Okay, hi. Getting high. Perfect. So we want to return self dot bring JSON. Uh, I don't want to do this because this will be a dictionary of its own type. And adder. So if I reload this, I should get an exception saying the key high does not exist. Oh, it's type none. Um, default dictionary, default dict from collections, import the default dict, default dict of. Dictionary. So now this should work with an empty date. Okay. I think that's what I want. This could throw me a curveball, but I think this is what I want. And then I want to def set item self adder value. And I can say I should return none. But self brain JSON adder equals value. And this basically just turns my class into a dictionary for me to simplify things. Uh, I just want easy readability in my um, in my code. So if I do this now, I should be able to get nothing equals whoa and then I get nothing that's exactly what I wanted why is that not working let's see set item key value dictionary set item I still shouldn't have to because I'm relying on self brain JSON self brain JSON itself is a dictionary this is not part of the class why is that not working but brain JSON isn't the class itself oh I see I see yep you're right thanks my brain equal big brain brain Big brain. Okay, my brain. Hi, nothing equals. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, thank you. That's exactly what it was. Um, that would have saved. Oh man, I would have struggled with that for a little while. Okay, and this should return none. This should never return anything because I don't want it to. Um, I might put some debugging in here to let me know that this is happening. Okay, so um, so I think I'm good here. Should I load the file on instantiation? Or should I specifically call load file later? This is a pretty low. Um, it's not going to be a big honking app that runs all the time. At least I'm not planning on it. Um, so I don't think I have to worry about my memory allocation or my startup time being real slow. I should need to worry about that.
So I think I'll just load it on something JSON it's default dictionary. But this won't be a default dictionary anymore on JSON load. Can I JSON load into a default dictionary? JSON load default dictionary. And really that just saves me some keystrokes. JSON default copy. Oh wait, can't you just set default? JSON our dictionary. But this is a different object, so maybe that won't work. Python docs. Set default. Python method. Set default key. If key is in dictionary return its value, if not insert key with the value. So that sounds like it won't be what I want. Okay, so I could do set default adder how does that work Proceed except no, wait, this won't even be a problem. I don't think this is going to be a problem at all. So if I do so load file, I don't know why I did that. Load file. I shouldn't even need this anymore. And then I can. So I can take my big brain and current working directory. Current working directory. So last known retweet. So I can do perfect. Okay, so I see that it loaded the details. That's my file path, my brain JSON. But so far, 
I'm gonna have to manually modify this to be the way I want it to be. I want this to be Valorant, looking for group. Yeah, I think you're right on that one. And then we can close this. And then we'll give this one more. So now, let's run this again. My brain, my brain. Valorant, LFG. Okay, that gives me what I want. That's exactly what I want. So now if I do LFM, hey, thanks for the follow, DS2. Thanks for checking in, appreciate you. This new tag, this is a new tag, and it worked. Okay, so I don't need to worry about default dictionaries. I don't need to worry about the thing that I was worried about. It's just gonna work, just the way I've got. Um, what does my repper look like right now? My brain. So. Def, prepper, self, print. Is it a return or is it a print? Um, I don't know if I should leave it in brackets. Eh, that to me signifies that it's a class, but I think that's not necessary for this purpose. I think I'm good with this. Okay. So I might want a def ease, def this tags, return self brain JSON keys, def keys. These need self, don't you know? Return self list tags. My brain keys. That's good. Just run dict. I mean, that's what I started. It you can't run dict on a dictionary. That's why I tried earlier, because I thought the same thing. It says it has no attribute. Okay. So now I've got a good ripper. I've got my getter and setter. I've got my keys. I can list my tags in case I need it. Now I need to update my JSON dump. I don't remember what this was supposed to be. JSON dump. Oh, this should just be self dot brain JSON. I'm glad I'm not trying to make the class itself be a dictionary, otherwise this would be I might as well pickle it. But this will work. Okay, so I can I think if I remember right, I can do def exit self not self one. I can do, 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 do self dot save file. So now I should be able to have this open. 
This should be rewritten whenever I finish this. Load my brain. Balor LFM equals whoa. And then I'm just going to close. Did it not? to do at exit oh I also hmm, that might have actually been it I just didn't call it out of the function we're gonna try this and then we'll go on to close this load it one more time that definitely did not do it So we'll do on delete. I hope this is not failing. I don't think it is. Whoa. Okay, name open is not defined. That's progress. What do you mean it's not defined? Oh, is it cleaned up before? Name open. This might be too late in the process, so maybe I can't do this. How do I want to do that? Open, okay. Definitely calling it. I think I'm just not going to be able to do this this way. Okay. With enter and exit, I'm going to look with enter and exit between top level objects. But exit's what I used. Ooh, okay. So I could do with. But don't I need to have context, uh, context managers to do that? Maybe I don't. Maybe it just has it to get from the get-go. Okay, so I could do on exit. So let's do Python init. And we'll do with brain as my brain, my brain, Valorant, LFM, equal, whoa, run that, oh, I don't even have an enter, I should be able to enter itself just passed. I don't think I need to worry about anything there. With brain, my brain, exit, the forward given. So basically what I'm wanting to do is I like it as soon as this class was done being used. So like if somebody shut down the application, it would just save. Obviously, I can call save my on my own, but if I'm just done, I'm going to save where I'm at. And maybe this just isn't the right call. I could also handle this with exception handling. Um, 
outside of the brain function. Maybe it's wrong for me to just do this in the brain function um, or in the brain class, but that's just what I'm looking at. Exit takes one positional argument, but four were entered. Does exit and enter not lead self? Let's try. case I this isn't worth it to me to oh I would need the same way this isn't worth it for me to to try to solve uh, this way I can handle it other ways. Um, I'm gonna do one more Google search and then I'm just gonna move on from this uh, this method. Um, so we'll do Python three class run function on location exit, which it says I can register at exit. This feels more worth the doing or easier. Yeah, I agree. I've implemented it before. Let me see if I have it on any of my public GitHub. I think it's all on internal stuff, so I don't want to access it. I'm not even logged into GitHub. What the heck? What about to be though? See what I've got in my internal repositories. I don't think I have it there. Copy script, that's definitely not it. And this one I have performed no commits on. Okay, yep, it's just not available to me. I'm not going to no meeting, I don't wanna do that. That's why I'm streaming, so I don't have to go to a meeting. Okay. I'll just not worry about this and I can just call brain save file when I need to. Okay, so retweet tags. I can do or tag. So meetings now in my new job and I like that I've also been not going to some because I feel like I am in a position where I can do that when I was in ops I feel like if I didn't go to a meeting there would just be no information and someone pinging me until I got there now I'm like epic I'll just take my step back and somebody else can handle it if I'm really necessary they'll get me but that feeling of me really being necessary is non-existent and I like that I don't, 
I'm thinking maybe I should make this brain be global because I have a feeling I'm gonna pass that brain elsewhere. So we'll call Twitter brain. I'm just gonna call it brain. Um, from brain import brain. And so we'll call dev get last get analyzed tweet or tag. That's a long one. Tag. And we'll say brain tag. Get since ID for tag. There, it's shorter now. And is it search since? Now, if this JSON ever. Uh, we're actively avoiding talking to teams in that department. Oh yeah, that's just, I'm not gonna bad mouth on stream about stuff. You almost got me. Okay, so ID string I think is what I had last. So if I do ID string and return this, can do tag okay black come on and do your thing wait what yes I know it's over 79 characters please fix it for me I can't be bothered to fix that myself what's your deal black something else is wrong All right, have a good meeting, enjoy. I got other people in here who'll probably talk, maybe. I have to have a typo here. Why is Black not fixing things for me? I think that's why. There we go, corrected. Okay, so get this sense ID. I'm gonna assume that this just works. Um, that for tag. And is tweet. And we're gonna call def set uh, set tag to tweet. Tweet. I'm not loving these terms, but green tag equal tweet so now is top level is tweet top level retweet this I don't remember was I leaving it out set to tag tweet okay so this should take I remember we got the newest to oldest, but we reversed it so oldest to newest. So newest should be the last tweet that we see. And we don't need to update this every single run. We just want it to be on the last run. So we can wait until we're broken out of the for loop to do this. Now that we are done with our loop, update brain. And I think we should should I should I update the brain or save the brain file between every loop or should I only save it when the script is done? I think I should do it after every loop because if I die, let's say I add five more tags for a total of six. If it dies on tag three, 
left and I don't have a save for one or two. Okay, so we're gonna save every single time. So we'll call uh, save brain. good way to save it so this should come through if I run this let's just try it I need to do I do print now search in for tag Found this tweet, found this tweet, print, now saving, green file. Updating brain file to use to tweet ID. I do want to do that. Let's tweet ID equals. Actually, I won't need that. I do. That was unnecessary, but I can do ID tweet string ID. Let's be standard. Print brain saved. Moving on. And then once we're completely done, print loop done. Goodbye. Okay, so this should be enough for me to run it. Let's try it. So we'll do Python, Tweeter. Init QI attempted relative import with no. Do I not? It's imported but not used. I'm okay with that. Let's get rid of it. We'll actually get rid of this line too. Do I have any other? I'm not using this here. Uh, I'm not, I'll probably use pretty print soon. Okay, so. What am I missing here? Valorant LFM. Maybe Tweeter. And then I should also be doing that in brain as well. Or not in brain, but retweeter. They're absolutes. Do I not save it? That makes no sense. Va oh my gosh, my name, my name is wrong. Valorant, LFM. This whole time. All right. But there is no retweeter. I don't get that because I should definitely. out because this should have just worked the way it was. Imports are the death of me. From brain import. Nope. What? Nope. Module name. Where? Where is it? Local. Okay. That's progress. I think it hadn't finished building its 
I think I ran the old PyC without, and whenever it did trace back, it printed the old file. That's what I think happened. Local variable tweet reference before it needed to be. Updating brain file for tweet ID. Updating brain file for tweet ID. Uh, do I lose? Can I do finally? I never use finally in loops. I might have a reason to. Finally. But I think this might be a new way how scope works. Am I else? No. What? I thought there was finally in loop. Python finally loop. Let's try accept finally. Maybe there isn't a for loop. Python for loop. tweet saying it's not do I lose scope I don't think Python worked that way in older version uh, Python for loop scope because I want to keep that scope Okay with, I guess finally isn't what I need here. This can be in that loop. I'm okay with it, I guess. I wasn't expected to be. Can take out this comment though. I don't feel like it's ever been this way before. Okay, so I don't know why. Return. Key air. But there is Valorant LFM. This is why I needed that. This will work. Trying to expect that key to be there when it might not be. Okay, so we're we're getting closer. So now searching for LFG. There was nothing newer than the last random that we had, so we're just moving on. Now it's searching for Valorant LFM. I already retreated one. I thought I was already accepting that. Accept exception. I got that. Okay. Status object has no attribute tweet ID. 
Is it this? I already removed the original code, like a dum dum. I'm getting t tweet text. Tweet. Let's try to run this again. Let's see what we get. Maybe I just need to do ID. Maybe they don't let me. Which is okay. Object is up. So if I can do print the print dir tweet, I want to see. Whoa. Wait a second. So it works. JSON. There is isn't it? set to something JSON underscore JSON. What? right all the way so I can't parse it this is what I don't want to happen okay this should have should update I got Valorant LFG Valorant LFM Okay, I'm good. It tried to write non-JSON data, and so it didn't print all the way. So now I can take this out and I'm looking at tweet. Now update our brain. All right. So now we support two two hashtags. I can do Valorant LFG and Valorant LFM. This file is still ugly to me. I'm pretty happy with my, my brain file. I'm sure things could be a little bit better. Um, I'm nervous about this, about my save. I, I'm expecting that to bite me a lot if I don't call to JSON. But I could write a wrapper class around the Twitter tweet itself, so that way it always passes a JSON, so I just don't have to worry about it. And that's something I could do as I expand. Right now, though, I don't know what I want to support beyond Valorant LFM and LFG. Um, so far, I'm streaming about an hour and 10 minutes, plus some time there. I, I streamed a little bit earlier too before my audio started um, I started messing with it and then up my resolution from 720 to 1080. So it might have been a little bit longer. Um, but I feel like that's pretty good progress. Maybe I'll do some code wars. Because right now I'm just not sure what I'm, I'm going to expand on yet.
The song is relaxing though. Pound of taco meat. Yeah, you should buy a four wheeler. What else is there to do? Sounds vaguely like Ghibli. Ghibli. <laughs> it's nice. Let's see who it is. Hey, that's Sailor Moon. Killer B Fantasy. I don't think it's actually Sailor Moon music, but. Venus. An album Venus. You can get a four wheeler. I'll allow it. And then you'll gift it to me, because that's what Papa says. Close-ish. You better let me write it. I want more coffee, but I don't know if I should have a fourth cup of coffee or not. SpongeBob shirt. SpongeBob shirt. I don't like this section either. Retweet I'm fine with, but this section I'm not pleased with. I think this whole file I would like to rewrite, but I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. <laughs> Just drinking pre-workout for fun. I mean, your tolerance for caffeine is gonna, you're gonna have a high tolerance if you keep it up. They're asking me if I was gonna get barbecue. Need someone sensible. Well, if you're telling yourself no, that's someone sensible. A four wheeler sounds great, but you just gotta decide. Is COVID-19 the right time to treat yourself? Or is it the right time to save yourself? That's my internal conflict with all these computer upgrades that I've wanted to do. And I keep doing research, which makes me want them more and more gotten a decent amount and I hope let me see if I got an update on my graphics card because I'm gonna be bummed out if they don't send it to me today I understand but I'm gonna be bummed out UPS still says, we're waiting for Newegg to give it to us. So that's fun. I don't even have an estimation of when it'll show up. It was supposed to show up today. I even got two-day delivery. I should probably ask for a refund. Because I'm cool. I understand if coronavirus is slowing it down. I get that. But if it just lost, then it's lost. Money is for spending. Um, but should you spend it all the time or should you save it so you can buy something cooler later? Like a house. <laughs> you already have a house though, so you don't understand. You don't understand anymore. You just don't get it. You don't go get the struggle. You already have a house. <laughs> I get a house. That's what Sabrina says. I want a house too. I'm trying to save for it, but houses are fucking expensive. That's why Savannah, you gotta start your streaming gig. You gotta, you gotta do knitting, crocheting, needlepoint, reading children's books, voice acting, and become a booby streamer. You gotta do all these things and just be the best Twitch streamer and you can be the breadwinner. I will quit my job and just do streaming as a hobby and never make dollars off of it. <laughs> That's, that's my contribution. And that should be enough for you. If it's not, then, then I don't know what we're doing here. Booby streamer. That's, that's how there's a lot of people on Twitch who I feel 
get their streaming views because they show some big old cleavage. Um, hey, I'm not saying that they're wrong for doing it. I'm just jealous that I can't also show some cleavage to get top views. That's it. recently she banned herself because she accidentally showed her own titty on stream apparently and then, isn't she also the one who also threw a dog behind her she's like get off my desk and everybody got mad I honestly cat yeah I don't feel like she was being abusive to that cat I understand why people were upset I'm not saying she should have done it People just want a reason to bitch about it though. I don't watch her, so I don't care. You don't know that? You're gonna learn. See, if you get on the Twitch streams and take part in this awesome community of streamers and the internet and constantly wondering if you should move to Mixer to get more viewers, if you join in on that fun, you'll You'll know who these people are, and then you'll have opinions too. Because all streamers talk to each other. <laughs> Wait, you make your money on OnlyFans. Does that make Jenny the simp? Hmm. Not go to mixers. Mixer is a streaming platform like Twitch. It's called Mixer. It's made by Microsoft. And Ninja went there. And he was the first, I think the first big deal. He definitely is the biggest deal. Uh, he's the biggest deal. And I don't think m many viewers are going to it. It's just too easy. Everybody knows Twitch, so people aren't moving to Mixer to find people to watch. should look up what a simp is. Maybe Jared will tell you. It's a Simpson. That's what it is. It's a Simpson. That's not bad. Simpsons are funny. It's icky, isn't it? <laughs> um, well, so a simp is supposed to be a simpleton. But I think the internet has started taking simp to mean somebody who uh, effectively has a girlfriend, uh, an unfair relationship with a woman, I guess. So like they're either doing like, they're paying their girlfriend to be with them or, hey, she had, like one of that comes to mind is iDubbbz. He's a funny YouTuber. A lot of people compare him to pay money wubby but his girlfriend has a only fans account and he's cool with it because he's like just don't be on another dude's ding dong and we're good um and a lot of people started calling him simp because it's like hey you shouldn't be cool with that and i wouldn't be cool with it but he's cool with it so whatever don't get an only fans account savannah i don't i don't want that Sucker idolizing mediocre pussy. Sick. That's interesting. Ah, Savannah, you don't know nothing. <laughs> That's true. It's. I don't know, it's just like another platform for girls to send lewd pictures. I don't I don't know what it exactly it is. But it's like if you've ever heard of premium Snapchat, it's like that. Jared would know. I wouldn't. I don't know OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is the great conversations that will continue happening on my stream as we progress, where we talk about simps and OnlyFans, because that's what makes a good stream. We all know that. Do I need to ha start hosting uh, speed dating and have really cringy people on camera trying to speed date each other? Let's look at this picture. That's a lot of damage. He died. Dang. Dang. Jeez. Dude, just going. I don't know this game, but how the heck are you able to get that many kills? Hold on, I want to see what his leaderboard looks like. 69 kills, what the heck? That's stupid. Did people just start leaving or was it always just three? What the heck? Not my modern warfare. I left. I think I think they had to. I would have left if that just kept having like what the what's the point? I had a lot of damage though. Alright. What do I wanna do? Pretty print. It'd be nice to start evaluating, um, evaluating tweets on if they're similar uh, tweets to what I want. But I don't think I have enough information and, and skill to pull that off yet. Because I can search for terms that are like Valorant looking and just retweet them. I don't know if that's going to be a good call though. I might be spammy at that point. I don't know. I've seen, I saw Justin play a little bit of the Modern Warfare campaign and it looks cool. I haven't, I played I mean, I played Warzone, uh, but I think the last Call of Duty I really played was Black Ops 2. And they're fun, but they're just the same game over and over. It's like playing, I don't know, any of the Madden games. It's like, sure, I get a little slightly better graphics with updated roster and the year increments every year. But other than that, what's the point? Um, it's starting to sound like you. It's just... Call of Duty. Games are fun when you get to play them with your friends. And I guess if everybody's playing it, that's okay. But I'm worried about buying it and then everybody's just gonna be like, I'm done. I'm gonna go back to the next WoW expansion that we're all gonna be bored of in six months. So I've been I've been liking the Factorio. Uh, I've always liked Factorio. Uh, but I've noticed since I've started streaming and saying, okay, I'm only streaming on these set days. And then I just hang out with Savannah or do not computer things or not. I do my research and stuff like that on the days I'm not streaming. Um, the days that I stream and play the games, they're turning to be a lot more fun for me. Um, not only is it fun because I'm getting that, that break away, but it's, it's turned the streaming aspect and the gaming aspect to make both of them feel like not work. Um, if I ever wanted to do like Valorant as ranked play and try to get up the street the ladder and stuff like that um, 
I might it, I might be willing to do some of that stuff, but I need to set my schedule like, okay, these are days I train, these, this is the day I actually play um, scrims and stuff like that. Uh, because just doing it, hey, every day, I just, if it feels good, I play it. I never feel good. I never enjoy it because it's, it's oversaturated in my mind, I guess. But no, since making this change and being, right now my plan, or I've been working off of uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are my streaming days. Um, today I'm doing it because I got, uh, we got a chance to with work to let to let me do it um, but doing Tuesday Thursday and Saturday my gaming time has turned into a lot more fun it's turned into my hobby again rather than feeling like a place that this is where I spend all my time I'm still on my computer a lot I'm still doing research about trying to upgrade computer parts how I want to improve my stream um, being on Twitter and, and social media and trying to improve on that I'm still spending a lot of time doing that but I've definitely separated this is my work versus this is my enjoyment aspect of streaming and play. And then obviously I'm, I'm sitting at this desk doing my paid work too. So that helps a little bit. I don't know what I want to do to this. I want to keep streaming. I have the energy in me, but I don't know what to change. I think I think I might actually take a break. Um, I'll turn off the stream for now. I'll go hang out with Savannah, maybe get some lunch in me. Um, and then maybe I'll stream a little bit more once I can get a little bit more idea. Cause I, there was another project. Let me look it up real quick. I'm pretty sure I wrote it down. There was another coding project that I wanted to work on. Oh yeah, I wanted to try to create a bot similar to the st small streamers connect, um, where basically people can um, can follow it and it'll automatically stream certain people. I don't know how I want to get that started though. I don't know if I want to do it today because you kind of also have to build up a user base who wants to use it. I don't think you can safely just stream anybody on Twitch without potentially them blocking you. Um, so I don't think I want to do that. I saw some things where a lot of people are, get frustrated at those too because they really inflate your numbers for real. I don't, I want to use the building of that application to grow my numbers. I don't want to make the application grow my numbers. Um, so that's not fun. But the idea of like Twitch plays Pokemon and stuff like that, that's always been exciting. So it can, it'd be fun to do something like that. Heck, maybe even try to recreate Twitch plays Pokemon from scratch. That could be fun. Um, but I think I'm going to hop off here for now, take a hour or so break. Um, and then I might come back on and stream some more, but goodbye for now. Thanks for checking me out. Thanks for popping in here. Uh, Savannah, Jared, Scott, I think Juan was in here for a little bit too. I don't know beyond that. And DS2, thanks for that follow as well. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I still don't have a goodbye scene, but goodbye. <laughs>